Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make triangle wood blossom center. I'm going to be using this four millimeter crochet hook, these two colors. This is what it looks like. Um, triangle wood blossom center pattern number 435. And I took this pattern out of this new crochet stitch dictionary book. All right, to begin, we're going to make a slip knot with our first color and we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And join with a slip stitch into chain one, just like that. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and this round is going to be worked inside this ring space here. So we're going to start with treble crochet two together, yarn over twice, insert into the ring, pull through, pull your yarn through first two stitches, pull your yarn through second set of two stitches, stop here. Do not complete your treble crochet. Again, yarn over twice, insert, pull through first two, pull through second set of two loops. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those three loops. This is your treble crochet two together. Now you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to make double crochet two together. Yarn over once into the ring, pull the yarn through, and pull through, pull through the first two loops on your hook and stop here. Yarn over into the ring and pull the yarn through the first two. Now you have three loops on your hook and you're gonna go yarn over and pull through those three loops on your hook. This is double crochet two together. Now you're gonna chain five. Now for this next stitch, we're going to make treble crochet three together. Now we did chain four and treble crochet two together in the beginning. This stitch is going to mimic that three treble crochets together. So you're going to go yarn over twice into the ring, pull through first two, pull through second two, stop here, yarn over twice one more time. Repeat the same, stop here, and the third time. Through two, through two. So now you should have four loops on your hook. You're gonna go yarn over and pull your yarn through those four loops on your hook. You're gonna chain five one more time. And you're gonna make, again, double crochet, two together, just like this one. Yarn over into the ring, stop here, yarn over into the ring, and pull now your yarn through those three loops on your hook, just like that. Chain five one more time one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna make treble crochet three together as we did right here. Yarn over twice, into the ring, pull through two, pull through two, and stop. Yarn over twice, through two, through two, stop. Yarn over twice one more time, through two, two. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull your yarn through those four loops and chain five again and you're gonna make double crochet two together one last time pull through two and stop through two and now pull your yarn through the three loops on your hook and chain five again one two three four five and make a slip stitch on top of this 
chain four right here so this is what your first round looks like for this next round you're going to chain three one two three you're going to make your single crochet into the next stitch which is the top of these treble crochet two together and now you're going to make a single crochet into one into each one of those chain fives here just going to count one two three four five so this is my first one here one two and three four and five five single crochets now we got to our double crochet two together here here we're just gonna chain one and we're gonna make single crochet into each of those next five chains one more time so it looks like this is my first one one two three four and five now here we got to our treble crochet two together so here you're going to make single crochet into first stitch here you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to make a single crochet into the next stitch here made by these treble crochets two together uh, three together so single crochet and now you're going to make a single crochet into each of those five chains two three four and five and when we get to the double crochets, we'll just chain one. And now we're gonna make our, again, single crochets into each of the next five. And five. Now we got to our treble crochet, three together. You're going to make a single crochet into the first stitch here, chain three, and a single crochet into the next stitch here. And you're going to you're going to repeat that all around. So again, for the troubles, you're going to make single extra single crochet, chain three, then another extra single crochet single crochet into each of the five chains and then when you get to the double crochet two together you just chain one there's no extra single crochets here again single crochet crochet into each of the next five chains when you get to trouble you do single crochet chain three single crochet and i will meet you at the end of this row i'm at the end of my round here and I did my single crochets into each of the chain fives. You're gonna make another single crochet when you get to the end of this round, right into the stitch here. And you're going to cut your yarn, which I already did, and you're going to join with a slip stitch at the base of the chain three, just like that. And you should have chain three into each of the treble crochets three together, which we have three of those. And then we have double crochet two together in between each of them. Now for this next round, we're going to attach your yarn into this chain three space on top. And 
and we're going to chain six, four, five, six, and you're going to make a double crochet into that chain three space here. Next, you're gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip that next stitch, and you're gonna make a double crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet. Chain one, and you should skip this next stitch and now we get to this chain one space here. Make a double crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, which would be this one. Work into this next one, make a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next one, make a double crochet into the next. Chain one, and skip the next one. Make a double crochet. And now that we got to our chain three space, we're going to chain three one more time. We're actually, before we chain three, we're going to make a double crochet into this chain three space. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Again, make a double crochet into this chain three space. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, which would be this one. And again, make a double crochet into the next stitch and chain one. So you're going to repeat this pattern all around. When you get to each chain three space, you're gonna make a double crochet in it. Then you're gonna chain three and make another double crochet. And then into each of the chain one spaces, you just make a double crochet in it. I will meet you at the end of this round. I am at the end of my round here, and I'm just gonna make my last double crochet so I'm going to skip this stitch and go into the base of this chain three. That's your last stitch. Double crochet and join with a slip stitch into chain three of this chain six here. Okay, so this is what it should look like at this point. Now, this next row is going to be a repeat of the previous round, I should say, not row. So chain six again, three, four, five, six. Make a double crochet into that chain three space that you have here. And you're going to chain one, and you're going to make a double crochet into each of the double crochets that you have, not forgetting to chain one in between each of them. So chain one in double crochet into the double crochet, chain one, double crochet into your next double crochet, chain one again, in double crochet, chain one, double crochet one more time, chain one, double crochet. By the way, I was going to mention that you should have 26 double crochets in that previous round, meaning that you should again have 26 double crochets for this round as well. So let's continue until we get to our chain three space, chain one, 
and double crochet chain one double crochet into a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and now you're going to again repeat your double crochet chain three double crochet into this chain three space of the previous round so here we're going to chain one double crochet chain three double crochet into the same space chain one and continue with your double crochets and chain ones until you get to your next chain three space and i will meet you at the end of this round now i'm at the end of my round here and i know i said that it's supposed to be the same number of double crochets as in the previous row it's not going to be the same number because each round we are making two double crochets into this chain three space so i believe it should increase by times three let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And I'm going to make my last double crochet. 32. So that means we had 26 in a previous round. And now we have 32. So that means it's going to increase by 6. So we did our last double crochet and we're going to chain one and we're going to connect with a slip stitch on top of this chain six, which makes it chain three into chain three. So now you're going to repeat the same row one more time. So you're going to have three rows of this gray yarn here or whatever yarn you may choose we have two rows of the first color and then three rows of this second color so again the same row chain six and continue making double crochets into each double crochet chain one and then when you get to your chain three you just repeat again two double crochets and chain three and i will meet you at the end of this round I'm at the end of my last round here. So we're supposed to have now 38 double crochets because each round gets increased by three, uh, by six, right? Because we have three chain, three spaces and we put two double crochets in each one. I already counted mine. I do have 38 and I'm at the end here. And you're gonna join with a slip stitch into chain three space of the chain six that were made in the beginning of the round so just like that and we're going to cut the yarn and this is your triangle with a little blossom flower in the center just a different spin on your regular granny square. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.